appropriate context for the kashi is when the uki is lifted. So, ah! I've gone to some, like striking from below, extending the arm. Not so good if you just come here. And now you're sort of trying to duck in. Because to throw somebody there, if they're like this, obviously it's easier. So setting it up is an important thing. And then I'll slide under, and there we are. It doesn't help to know this, but it might make you feel not bad, so bad about it if you're having a bit of trouble. Yes. Up to here, you can say how to do it. But the rest of it has to be done to my own rear, backwards. So it's hard to find it. You see, most of the techniques we do, I don't know, I mean, apart from the Ushiro's, it's all in front. So you can see what you're doing. One of the things about Ushiro Waza is it's about intuitive training. And here, I have to find the remaining part of my position, intuitively. I have to place my hips under here. I don't have any difficulty doing it because I've done millions of them. Uh, but if you know that, what you're doing is you're training and gradually, gradually, you start to find the place. It's an iterative thing. You find the place a few times and that trains you inside. Your intuition is built. So your mistakes are not really mistakes when it doesn't quite work. It's like you, you're working towards a point where you can find the spot consistently. So it may not be any consolation. <laughs> but no one can actually tell you where your hips should be. But you step to a right angle, twist under. But there's a subtlety to that. Because if you're only a small amount out, one of the common mistakes is to leave a bit of a gap. So you come in, in you, everything's right, and you twist in, and there's a gap here. And now, nothing happens. <coughs> you have to be in contact. Yeah. So you can feel your partner's body as you come into the, into the throat. Or you feel, feel yourself getting into the power position and feeling weakening. It's very intuitive. Which is what Ushiro was a oh, sensei said. It's not so much being attacked from behind as training your intuition. Whatever the technique is. Because you've got to do everything Blind, unless you cheat and look in the mirror. But it's important to know that because you have to find it. Hopefully, so you can, ah, oh, oh, gosh, yes, I couldn't find it, I couldn't find it. No, that's fine. Not a problem. If you're training, gradually, gradually, you'll win. You'll get there. It'll just come. And then you'll never understand why you couldn't do it. Because you can find it instinctively. Having found it instinctively there, can then start to find it instinctively in other places. Because when we're doing it step by step from the eyes, whatever it is, looking and watching and going through the steps, we're not quite doing it right yet. When we're doing it from hey, how it feels, not from A, B, C steps. So it's a uh, very interesting learning process. No short circuit for it. And you say it like this so you can consider the frustrated efforts to be part of that iterative training process. A few more then. Yes. <laughs>